Hello, welcome to mysimhelp.in. Uh, in this video, we will look on the uh, SAP Data Migration Cockpit. So, it's going to be a series of videos. Uh, we will start with the introduction about the SAP Data Migration Cockpit. Uh, so, in short form, this is said as SAP DMC. Uh, DMC stands for Data Migration Cockpit. Uh, as we know, you know, a lot of projects and uh, everybody are moving to SAP S4 HANA. Uh, as an on-premises edition or as a public cloud or a private cloud uh, SAP is also sunsetting the LSMW tool and uh, it is coming with this tool which is the new upload tool in the SAP HANA environment uh, even uh, in the HANA environment earlier uh, we were using the LTMC tool but now uh, SAP has offered the future of this data migration cockpit uh, so in this cockpit uh, it has uh, options of you know using a staging table or you know using files uh, also uh, this is what SAP uh, DMC is offering us um, and from uh, you know SAP HANA on-premises 2020 edition uh, it is strongly bringing the SAP DMC it is the only source so we, you will not have the LTMC uh, which means SAP going forward is positioning only the data migration cockpit as a tool for integration uh, so that's what we will see in details here okay so in this uh, dmc process uh, at a high level if you see you have a data source the data source can be an excel sheet uh, or it can be a staging table uh, and for the staging table uh, sap even has provided where you can directly link from sap ecc system to bring it to the dmc and so once it is brought into that then it performs the uh, starts with an extract then you can do transformations in case if you are doing a merger or a demerger or if you wanted to do any replacement so all these things are handled during the transformation and then uh, you can use the load functionality from the load functionality this will put the data into the sap s4 hana system uh, about the sap data migration cockpit if you see uh, this is out of the box which is included in sap s4 hana uh, and also in the uh, S4 HANA cloud environment this is a uh, licensed and ship that means we don't need any separate licenses for this it is a part of the S4 HANA uh, itself and uh, it has uh, clear documentation and also simulation process so both the things are there uh, th that is also available uh, automated, automated mapping between source and target so if in case earlier in during the LSMW periods and all, we used to do the mapping. Uh, there has been some activities related to mapping files, all those things used to be there. But now uh, you will not have it. So that's what SAP claims it as an automated mapping between source and target. And uh, time wise, it's saying it, we climb, we also see that the migration time is less. Uh, and especially with any small functional knowledge, we will be able to do that. We don't need any. Uh, exclusive uh, technical knowledge or a developer skill sets are not required for this on top of this apart from the standard object in case if you want to do additional customization like initially we had a LT mom in the S4 HANA same way we are also having uh, you know custom requirements that's a migration object modeler is also available where we can do little customization based on the custom requirements uh, this is also part of an uh, activate methodology so it is uh, in the whole project lifecycle this gets a proper fitment into that and uh, there is a pre-configured content content are nothing but our objects so these are also available uh, this is a high level overview so that when you start about the series of my videos on sap data migration cockpit it's better to give a uh, small information about what this data migration cockpit is going to do etc uh, keep watching the subsequent videos also leave your comment in case if you are looking for any additional content on the data migration cockpit part thanks for watching this um, in case if you have any doubts you can leave it in the comment uh, then i will help you to address over them thank you